is going on today guys welcome back to the channel and today's video not long ago prior to the last event the three-day event uh, I installed half of the M tech shifter spring kit due to not having the right tools for it and now I do have them so we're gonna go ahead and install the whole thing and also once I have it fully installed, talk about like, is it actually worth it or not? I saw a Speed Factory's video or FDA, I'm not sure what the name is for them anymore, but saw their video on it and he mentioned like he didn't really notice a lot of uh, difference in the feel, but once we get it fully installed, I'm gonna show you, it is quite a big difference and I think it's 100% worth it, even though I only have 50% of it installed. So what do these springs exactly do for you? I'll explain real quick. They are the springs that allow your shifter to return to center. So you have one on one side, one on the other. One helps you go from second to third. It also does help with third, fourth, fourth, third. It's just much more confident. It doesn't want to go anywhere. And then also from fifth to fourth, not necessarily from fourth to fifth because you're working against the spring, but essentially it tightens it up so the channel to where you get to the gears is much more decisive. Even though I've gone by and done tons of events on the IRP without these springs, uh, I do believe uh, it led to a lot of unnecessary slop in the shifter and also some precarious situations fourth to fifth, which I don't know if you've ever felt that in this car, but sometimes you can catch between fifth and uh, third, I believe, and it just crunches so unbelievable. It's just the worst sound you've ever heard in your life. So I've kind of had that problem, or I won't say problem, but I've had to be really careful with shifting with the IRP. And with the springs already installed on the one side, which is my second to third and going that way to the left, uh, I can already tell it's just like such an improvement. Uh, I have a lot more confidence just going right into third. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit here once we have it fully installed. Now, if you do wanna see the IRP in its pure form, go ahead and check out some of the videos that were pretty recent, except for the three-day event video. Any driving video prior to that with the IRP shifter, that's just no rings in it. Um, it is really, really short. It's a great shifter, but like I said, this I think builds in so much more confidence. So without further ado, let's get to this, install the other side. I really can't wait to do it, button it up entirely. Let me show you the reason why I couldn't install it in the first place. So originally I set out with Speed Factory's video in mind, and he had like a long 27. And I was like, oh, I could definitely get away with that. Turns out, I don't think you can. I'm not quite sure how they got it off without some kind of uh, wrench because I just cannot get in there past a certain point. This is just like way too big. So we're gonna be trying it with a wrench today. I really hope I don't have to buy another tool to figure this out. But for the side we already installed, I'm gonna insert some footage now. You can use a 10 millimeter Allen. I managed to break it by hand and I am no uh, big man. I am, you know, I barely work out at this point. So I think it's pretty doable with this without a breaker bar. Then a little pick to grab the spring out uh, because it is kind of annoying to get out. So we're gonna get the car up in the air. Go ahead and do this other side. Right, guys so on the passenger side of the transmission over here we're gonna find the nut we need to get off which is the 27 millimeter it's right back there so as i mentioned i was not able originally to get this on with the long 27 millimeter socket um essentially you would just back out and then you would end up hitting the uh the body of the car too soon and then you couldn't get your wrench out or any of that jazz so what i have done in order to avoid that is i took that 27 and i took a cutoff wheel and i cut it and i bezeled it a little bit horrible job on my part but i'm starting to try to do more metal stuff when i can't 
So I figured, you know what? I need to make my own tool for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we did that and uh, I measured once, I cut twice and I ground to fit. I think that's what Hoon Garage says. I've been going by his, uh, his advice there. I believe we're all good in here. Um, you might not be able to see that, but a lot more space now with about, I'd say half an inch cleared at least. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. All right, I'm a little bit mad at myself. Oh shit, I forgot that it's pressurized. All right, so now we have this little doohickey out of the car. This is a little captive pin type deal. So we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna try to keep all that lube in there. I know there's a little bit, it could be, um, I think it might actually be transmission fluid. But either which way, I want the new spring to be somewhat hydrated. This is the new one. I definitely can't tell anything on camera, but that's pretty damn stiff. This is just a little bit less. Get it in there. So you can see how this works here. This is what you're essentially pressing against with your shifter. This part is really hard, not gonna lie. I'm having trouble making sure it threads. guys let's get a little test shot of how she feels initially already like much less side to side um even with the 50 percent uh i could definitely feel it to that one side give way a lot so immediately super solid in neutral position now let's go through the gears right in a second from here should be able to just go up. Yep, to third, then right down to fourth. And then fifth is gonna be tricky still, if not trickier. And I don't know about you guys, if you have an 8.6, but, or maybe just all five speed cars in general, uh, fourth to fifth is like so awkward. But luckily these cars are so slow, I'm rarely trying to go hard in fourth gear so fifth to sixth sixth to fifth and let's just see yeah bam right into fourth it's ridiculous right into third and then i've been practicing this lately it's been hard for me to kind of break this habit but pull decently fast down and left <clears throat> and like i've always been reluctant to downshift into second because i always did this like neutral then come over thing but then I realize you can kind of just, boom, second gear. So yeah, feels super solid, even better than it did before. If anything now, I'm gonna have to be careful with like accidentally throwing it in a third. Cause like, just watch this, that's third gear. <laughs> it's just so silly how easy it is. All right guys, we're gonna take it for its first test rip here grab my memory card because I totally forgot it for the camera. That's why we didn't see any nice camera shots, but honestly, I've been loving the iPhone. I think it actually kicks ass with, uh, especially these kinds of videos or, you know, having a really expensive camera around or a really expensive camera setup can be a little bit dangerous because you're working around tools, cars, greasy things. Uh, whereas a phone, like, 
you know, you can just throw it around, put it in the smallest of spaces, it doesn't matter. guys so that is going to be it for this one memory card has been retrieved as you can see or as you can hopefully see i hope my camera is better than iphone quality but these days literally like i said earlier you can get away with the iphone all the damn time and uh yeah looks freaking great regardless but the mtech shifter springs working out pretty well feels really really solid with the irp shifter if you have any questions, leave them in the comments regarding the install or you know, the shifter in general. If you wanna see videos on the shifter prior to the springs, as I said, uh, go ahead and look at the driving videos before the three-day event that we just did. And also the install of the IRP is above, which that was done along with, I believe the throwout bearing. <laughs> So like quite a lot on jam packed into that one video but regardless i hope you find it helpful so that is gonna be it from me it for this video and i will catch you guys on the next one we got something pretty exciting coming to the garage that is car related yet not car related yet it's it's just gonna be pretty fun so i hope uh i hope you guys enjoy what we'll be tagging along and yet another kind of hobby in a sense if you could uh if you could say drifting is a hobby but it's more so just like a financial mistake all right catch you guys in the next one peace